and we're here at the corner of Mott and uh, Hester. I'm showing this space here. This is uh, the original Vincent's, which has been here over a hundred years. The uh, family is going to be net leasing the ground floor. Um, the footprint on the commercial space extends 25 by 100, um, which is uh, a huge amount of outdoor seating if the uh, restaurant tour took advantage of the outdoor space. Um, currently, there is uh, seating inside the restaurant, which extends from the corner. There's a lot of high visibility here with windows running back. Um, the kitchen is set back at that end of the building. Um, it also does include 2,500 square foot basement, which is the size of the restaurant and kitchen. Let's go inside. Okay, we enter inside uh, this area here. Uh, which is a reception area or previously was a bar. It still is a bar, but not used um, as a sit-down sit bar. It's used as a service bar now by the family. <coughs> you have uh, across from this area, you have a seating area similar to the old time uh, clam bar, which has a glass view to the kitchen, which is in the rear the kitchen has uh, 18 burners, um, three ovens, two upper salamander uh, uh, broilers here, steam table, low boy refrigeration, deep fryers, another window going through to the prep area. Um, Hobart L-shaped dishwasher, pot washing area. We come to the prep area. You have a full-size ice machine, more low boil, low boy uh, refrigeration. A second, uh, actually a third exit out of the uh, space here. Um, yeah, this is generally a, a prep area. And then we have one part of the basement which you enter from this side, where. The employees change, extends about 200 square feet, eh, about that, maybe a little more. And uh, it uh, contains uh, a slop sink, grease trap, and the changing room for the employees. Let's go up and continue to show over here on the right as I'm exiting the uh, staircase. You have all the uh, compressors for the refrigeration here. As we move forward through the space, if I go back here, we have three refrigerators for wine and beer. Uh, actually, the bar and storage here, wet bar with, with uh, sinks, display case for desserts, and the main space, which uh, legally. Legally seats 121, right? With uh, a lot of exposure. Corner, corner uh, of the block, and uh, by level here. We're here on the wall. You have all the history of Vincent's going back to the 50s uh, over here. In the dining room here, you do have a uh, wet station here for storage and so on and uh, the exposure, another exit here. Uh, this exit sits on the corner of Mott Street side. And uh, this is also the side where we started. This side here has an entrance to the basement, which we're going to go to uh, right now. And uh, this side here is where the uh, deliveries are accepted. Let's go to the, uh, to the side of the basement where the employees generally enter over here.
This is uh, an exterior entrance to this basement, but there is an internal entrance from the dining room upstairs, which I'm going to end where I'm going to end the video and show you. There's a staircase here. This door uh, goes to a staircase which leads to the dining room in between the ladies and men's room. Currently, it's locked. It is being used as a liquor room for the storage of all the alcohol for the restaurant. Um, we'll continue to show you that. This area here has more compressors, dry storage, canned goods, and we come to the res restaurant uh, walk-in refrigeration area and reception for the deliveries. More sinks for prep down here. In this area, this entire space um, is this room here is about 600 square feet and you have two walk-in refrigerators ramp here where that door is on Mott Street to accept deliveries another slop sink and getting back to the dining room right now okay so this area here which was uh right above the basement where i uh, showed where the uh, entrance was for the staircase right here we have a ladies room and a men's room and this entrance here which leads to a, a liquor storage area within the staircase which goes down to the basement and uh, as far as the space itself, this space is quite versatile. A restaurateur could use the entire space. Or this is a great candidate for someone to use two-thirds of the ground floor space from here on for the restaurant. And then have a secondary business on this corner with an entrance on Mott Street. Of course, you would have to... Uh, install a second mean of egress for this to be used as a uh, retail commercial separate space but quite feasible and uh, a great idea if, if uh, the prime tenant wanted to sublease a portion of the space call ray at 212-602-1138 212